Of all the tributes he ever received, the fireboat named in his honor may have been Jake Godbold's favorite. It's a big thrill to uh, to see this boat and see my name on it, you know, going up down there. I love the river. I love the fire department. I love Jacksonville. So it's a great partnership. Partnership was his motto, working with others when he was mayor to help an outdated, underpaid fire department become modern, professional, and state-of-the-art. To be associated with a group like these men and women here at this fire department is just an honor, and I'm, I'm very proud of them. His first partnerships in public life were on city council, where he served for 12 years. In 1978, as council president, he stepped in to become mayor when Hans Tanzler left office early. A year later, Godbold was elected to the first of his two terms. Right at the start, he made clear the heart of the city was a priority. We had a, a tremendous downtown development period. We had the, 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 the thing that said the, uh, I think they referred to it as, as the billion dollar decade. We did a, 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 a tremendous amount of new construction. The Jacksonville Landing was part of that billion dollar decade as Godbold forged a partnership between local government and the business community. That same partnership saved the old Union train terminal and converted it into a convention center. The thrill for Godbold was not the building so much as the people who would come and make use of it and enjoy it. That was the same philosophy behind his Riverwalk, improving the quality of life for the people who live here. He also had that in mind when he dared to dream the biggest, boldest dream the city had ever seen. Membership has selected Jacksonville as the 30th NFL club. 13, 14 years of emotion just all came out at one time. Jacksonville has become the 30th NFL franchise. I don't remember where they were, but here they announced that Jacksonville got that franchise. And I had no idea they had the camera on, and I, I couldn't help it. I just, tears just came in my eyes, and I started crying, and I got all choked. Thank God no one was talking to me at that time, because I just, I was just bawling. The crowd that turned out that November night in 1993 to rejoice at the birth of the Jaguars shared in the realization of the dream Godbold first had 14 years earlier. It was on another night when another crowd turned out to see the owner of the then Baltimore Colts emerge from the Channel 4 helicopter. Godbold lit the spark of Colt fever, which led ultimately, two mayors later, to Jacksonville getting an NFL expansion team. A dream come true for the mayor who dared to dream and dreamed no matter what anyone said. Did people think you were nuts? Yeah, they call me Mayor Jockey, Mayor Jock, <laughs> and uh, they didn't mean that in a complimentary way. Like any visionary, Godbold often drew criticism, and it hurt. The worst were accusations of favoritism at the end of his second term that led to grand jury investigations. No favoritism or other wrongdoing was ever found. But four of the mayor's associates did serve time for unrelated offenses. I'm sorry about that. It, it, caused, a, it caused a horrible time in my life. Despite that horrible time, Godbold ran for mayor again a decade later and he responded to those who questioned his integrity. I will not back up to any man, you or anybody else, when it comes to integrity. I am very proud of being a family man, being a good citizen, paying my taxes. Godbold got 49% of the vote in 1995, losing a close race to John Delaney, who became the city's first Republican mayor since Reconstruction. I say it to bring it home to you that it's happening every day. Godbold never ran for public office again, but instead worked tirelessly for various causes for the public good, including prevention of domestic violence in memory of his murdered sister-in-law, Barbara Ann Campbell. Godbold helped because he cared. If one thing stands out above all the rest about Jake Godbold, it was his love of people, all people, and especially the people of this city. His legacy can be summed up with this. He was always thinking of others. To know that some kid that lives on the north side and raised in a project can grow up and be president of the council and mayor of the city of Jacksonville is, is uh, I think these young boys coming up today, these young girls coming up today, all they have to do is look at me and say, hell, if he can do it, we can too.